So the newer Makos, they have these. They come with these stock. They come with these little foot pegs. Very not so wide uh, foot pegs. As you can see, this is my 700. You can see they came with these not so wide foot pegs. And I found foot pegs that should work. And these are <laughs> these here. These are uh, KTM 525, 125, uh, 950, 99 Super Enduro, Adventure All, 98, as you can see. So. <clears throat> here right now. So this is what the footpeg looks like. And the original footpeg. And this is what the spring looks like. It springs goes in like that. Right. So these foot pegs were goes the same. That's the other side actually. But it's the difference is that you're thin in the middle, so this spring wasn't fit anymore. So it's just thin in the middle, but that spring won't fit. So this is a spring from that you can get for the older Makos, and we'll just cut this part off and might make this silo a shorter. So that's that, and as you can see, that the middle is not as wide. But also, the the side sticks out a little bit further than this one. If you try to line them up, you can kind of see that 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 it's thicker by one of these knobs. So essentially, what we have to do is grind off one of these sides for this for peg to fit. So. That's what we're going to do. So there you have it. That's it. And pretty much, uh, you can now fit this on the Mako. It should just be as wide as this one. And you just cut this with the bolt cutters. Cut this little piece off here. And then this goes in there. So as you can see, I did one side. I didn't do this side. The reason I didn't do this side yet is because you gotta take the motor off because this bolt hits into this. And even if you take this uh, gear shifter off, you still can't get that bolt out. So you either gotta cut that bolt off and then put it from the bottom, and that way the top would actually be riding on top of the the uh, <coughs> the pin. Um, or you put the motor up and do it. So this is the side I actually already did. So yeah, at some point I'll probably lift that up, the motor or something, and cut the pin out to get a new pin. Um, yeah, but yeah, otherwise you're going to lift the motor up and um, put either foot peg on, unfortunately. So, anyhow, got one side on. So yeah, for the, for the newer makers, that's how it is. The older makers are a little different, so. so I have other foot pegs now from the older makers, but... So the new Makos, you can use that and put them on. And I'll probably get some better sets for for this one here. So you can see, these two bikes are the same. 2015 Mako 700, 2005 Mako 500. And there's the 620, which also has custom graphics, which actually look the same as this. But those are the same foot pigs. So, I'll probably switch them all out. 
Um, at least I'll switch out one side. Um, the other side will be TVD since he has to lift the motor up uh, to be able to put it in. So, anyhow, that is. Uh, Said I'll have to remove, lift the motor up in order to put that foot peg on. So.